to the controllers in the Proteus. So I am giving a list of the Arduino boards we can simulate in the Proteus in the description below. Coming to the circuit, so this Arduino board is designed connected to the communicate with the EEPROM 24LC256 via I2C communication. The S clock of EEPROM is connected to the IO19 which is nothing but the clock of the Arduino and uh, SD of the EEPROM is connected to the IO18 which is nothing but SD of the EEPROM. So going into the program uh, and I am also monitoring the uh, the serial port of the Arduino for the debugging purpose and a scope is used to identify when data is match or fail. Going into the program, the program is very simple. Uh, it has a write function and a read function. So initially we installing the Arduino and a pin 8 is con used for the monitoring the data when its data matches with the write and uh, when it doesn't matches then pin 8 becomes high. So in the main loop for the first 10 memory locations I am generating a random number writing the random number into the EEPROM and reading the pack and once the read data doesn't match with the write data then pin 8 becomes high when it matches pin 8 becomes low so simple it's a read and write functionality implementation so you can use this functions right away in project for another purpose so once the code has been written please make sure that you do the build all the projects if you are doing any changes and coming back to the schematic again uh, make sure that uh, the address lines A0, A1 and A1 are they connected to the ground and uh, right products also connected to the ground. I have added the few buttons uh, in order to simulate the fault during the executions. So let's run the simulation. So when we start the simulations, so you can see that a random data E8 is generated which is writing into memory location 0. and then the functionality it to read it back so it reads the data from the memory location and uh, it matches with the right data since the data is same it's telling successful read operation and you can see the pin 8 on the channel a connector it's low so now we inject the fault so i'm just open the one of the switch connected in the data line so you can see the random data c5 is written in, into the memory location 5 but when it's reading back since the line was open so it's got the fm because always it has been internal pull ups are present so it's always reading the i so so if you see the previous data AF is written into the memory location 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So AF was available at memory location 4. But at the memory location 5, there is no data like it's FF. By default it will be FF. So since there is no data, actually as per the program, the C5 has to write in the memory location 5. But there is no C5, it's FF. It means the switch was open or something is happened during the write operation so that is the re reason default value was written back so if switch was open at the read operation then you might be saving the some window in this memory debug window like there will be some data so at some uh, this memory location file if there is a, some noise or some interrupt or some failure happened in the read operation so since it's so this debug window will be helping us to understand that whether the uh, some failure happened in the write operation or the failure happened in the read op and then it's generated as a failed and you can see that the pin 8 becomes high so if you want to put the cursor you can see the low value is at this point the value is 50 millivolts and at this point the value is 
holes if i close the switch back and uh, resume the simulation then random data 72 return to memory location 6 and successful read operation and you can see the pin 8 becomes 0 so this is a simple program for the Arduino which is nothing but at mega 328 controller communicating with the EEPROM via I2C communication thanks for watching this video have a nice day